why he didn't so <clears throat> that way is the vocal base so that's a no-go they seem very hostile uh, another cantina why not Hello. Go away. Chiska Nichu. Kimba Muli Rabonaji. Kimba no kumitsat abo. Kipona. Kava tumpa kurpa yiya moka paata. Chi yok one. Oska. Chiska Nichu. The hoopa botena. Kipona. Kava tumpa kurpa yiya moka paata. Two. Kiyokaku. Three. Oh, this color no is a badass man. Go away. Go away. Uh, I saw how you are. Nice work. Smart. I don't suppose I can loot them? No? That's a shame. Holden? Holdan? Whatever. Uh, uh. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Kuyami juski chika nai. Tong patoga smaktilia. Da beast you. Who you call a little girl, chuba face? Kuba batu konchi. Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu. Oops. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. <laughs> Wookie. Say, I don't recognize you and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. You what now? That's weird. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... How do Wookie and Tilek uh, treat urchin end up as friends? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Yes, you do. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Callow Nord. Uh... Callow Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Right. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. 
course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Ebon Hook, Millennium Falcon. Nice one, by the way. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Think about something besides your stomach five minutes. Come on, we'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. <laughs> right then. All right, right then. Jagatha, what the hell? <laughs> Ciao basso, chi non muore? Never mind. Never you mind. I thought you were something else. Oh, and more zucks, zucks. And of course, I'm assuming if you wanted uh, some. Uh, Dark side points, you could become a bounty hunter and bounty hunt some bitches. But I'm going light side all the way, so I will not be doing that. That would be bad. Let us see here. Um, hidden back base. And, oh! Hey! You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? Mm. Uh, for a hidden base, it's not very hidden, you know? You know? I'm no spy. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the hidden back's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulcan Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Not careful enough, it would seem. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. So what was the point of uh, the bribe then? Hello? Stupid game. Sometimes. Uh, Oi! Govna! You have a leak in your roof, Govna! Not a very good welcome site. Once you enter the... Hello? Anything to plunder? I don't think so. There's Zerdra and there's... Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Breshek and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on site, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. Touchy, aren't ye? Aren't ye? Oh, why can't you talk to... You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Um... A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. 
The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Breshik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. Right. Uh... The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Of course I do. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Son of Beach. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Uh... I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. Sounds uh, risky, but sure. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Yeah, good question. How am I supposed to get Getting it? Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Uh, I know her. Why am I... Why am she I and her Wookiee is? friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. Yep. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Forget it. Why is this even here? Uh, yep. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? No. Nope. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Yep. Onward. Onward and upward. As they say. As the crow flies. Alrighty then. 
Let's see. Oh! Got three grenade, concussion, poison, sonic, cryoban, ion grenade. No, I'll just use a frag grenade and boom! <laughs> you died! What? What? Yes? Why aren't they attack? You guys oh. are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Oh, and here comes the guard, dog. Tunipudu! Rana no prata don't know. What are the Wama Mulira? Kenjun Jubashak! I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Right. Wait, 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 wait. What? No loot? Seriously? Ah, oh, come on, man. Where did... Hello? Oh, he doesn't seem to be in a talking mode. Anyway... Oh, those look like enemies. Uh -huh. Boom! Where are you going? Hello? What? He's killing my friend! Nine! Come on, stop missing! What the hell is this? Ready! Get wrecked! Yes? Well, that was uh, interesting. What, no loot? Seriously? See you. Right. Anything? Some crit? That's, that's it? Come on. Come on. Bloody hell, mate. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Funny you should say that. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. I might just do that. Or I might just not. Probably not because I want to go light side, so yeah. You there, upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. <laughs> Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Uh, I w this is why I w wish I was a Jedi. These are not the droids you're looking for. Um, five, five <laughs> credits. <laughs> credits, my brother. We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Right. My name's Ron Jeremy. Who are you? Oh. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Uh, nothing special. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. 
I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so, so, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil, you say? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the promised land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Right. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Oh, damn. Lost five credits. Broke the bank. This is not good. Nine. No. Hello. Is there anything to be looting here? I would uh, assume not. Outcast man. Nope. I gear. It's uh, like the uh, iPhone. I gear. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes. You've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Let's see. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. Antidote kit. I still don't have enough. Just 400 credits. Not enough, show sell list. Let's see what I can sell. Clothing, even though I don't get anything from it. Vibroblade. Blaster Kistolen. Ion Blaster. Blaster Rifle. And that's about it. Thank you. Right. So, where is uh, Hukil? That's Gendar. Whoever the hell he is. But where is Rukil? There he is. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. You beg me? Um, what? A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. 
Once I was honored for my wisdom, but over time the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually there was only a single apprentice who followed me, and now she is gone too. The true path? What? No, 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 not yet. I must be wary, careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No, not until you prove yourself. Prove myself? What? My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Fine. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Uh, who are we kidding? You know, she's probably dead. Um, that's how, usually how the cookie crumbles. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. You know, for a sunless place, you sure do have a pretty nice den over there. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. Well, then. Far be it from my... Anything to... What's this? Outcast killers. Huh. Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Danger and suffering? What? The villagers infected with the Rutgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. Uh, your accent leads me to believe your empire. Farewell. Right. I'm guessing I have to find some uh, antidotes, some... Um, Thingies and give them and get light side points. Yay! Oh, here we go. What? Hey there, Upworlder. You want to see what I got for sale in my inventory? Or do you need something else? No. Yeah, okay. You come back and see me if you want a deal. I already saw you and I sold you some stuff. Stop bothering me. <laughs> Right. Anyway, um, yeah. 